guys, how are we doing? Um, I just thought I'd record this makeup look that I've done today. So I go into a Christmas fair and um, I had a little bit of time to do my makeup because both boys are asleep, oh my God. So um, anyway, I just chucked on some makeup today and I wanted to record it. So uh, here it is, hope you like it. This is how I would look when I actually leave the house. Just to reassure you, there's no hidden secrets, there's no lighting that's faking this for me, there's no cakiness on my face, uh, this is it, here it goes. Um, so what I had done before um, I started the makeup was I just put on a really good eye cream under my eyes um, and that was the Himalaya eye under eye cream that I've been using. So I suffer from really bad dark circles puffy eyes and wrinkles and that's partly genetics that's partly lack of sleep because you know i've got two young kids um and just life put some really good under eye cream on make sure it's not too thick just have something quite lightweight under the eyes um but i might do a separate video on my eye bag technique and what i do in the mornings and the evenings what i use for my under eyes um and also draining the fluid out of your eyes i know it sounds ridiculous but i will do another video on that because please do use a really good eye cream before you do this makeup look <music> the eyes um, when I do my makeup and this is the Rimmel London Exaggerate eyeliner. This is the only eyeliner I've ever used. It's just one that I'm the most comfortable with. I don't freehand my eyeliner because I can't do it. So I've got a technique for you girls that are probably not the best at eyeliner um, and that is the pull the eye technique. It might not be the best thing for your eyes but it's my technique. Here it goes. Mascara. So the only mascara that I've ever used <laughs> and that I've been in love with my entire life is the L'Oreal Telescopic. It's inexpensive. I've never gone back. It's so good. But the one that I recently got, and that's the Benefit Roller, Roller Lash. It's, guys, please try it. It's actually really good. I'm so fussy with mascaras and this is one of the best ones I've used. I like my eyelashes to look very separated. A good trick is to stretch your eye gently. As you can see, I'm giving it a wiggle, separating them as I go along. I know I'm putting, I'm pudding, boarding, I'm getting in a Christmas spirit. I know I'm putting in a lot of, um, a lot of mascara on. So next I'm gonna do my foundation. Um, always do the foundation first before your under eyes because um, if you do your under eyes and then foundation, it doesn't blend very well. Um, I like the way I say blend, blend. So my favorite foundation in the whole world, whole, whole world, is a Bobbi Brown foundation stick. Bloody amazing. I've got the color Warm Honey here. It's not actually my shade. I'm usually actually um, Golden Honey, not Warm Honey. So there's a difference there, but I'm gonna just make do with what I've got. The good thing is I love to look a little bit more bronzed anyway. So I don't mind darker colors than lighter colors. I'm gonna go ahead with my beauty blender, which I've only recently just bought. And dab, 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 dab. I tend to go in on my under eyes only because I'm not color correcting today. And because I'm not color correcting, um, I just dab a little bit on my under eyes just to give it a bit more of that peachy tone. Um, so when I'm doing with my concealer, it's easier. Okay, I don't want to overdo it. I'm not going for high coverage. So my marks might still be there, but that's okay. I'm only going to a Christmas fair. I need to impress anyone but myself well, and my husband. Concealer time, Tarte Shape Tape. I don't want to put a lot of this on. The more product you put on your under eyes or your face in general, the more cakey it looks and the worse it looks. I'm scraping it off like that. So I'm, I've got very minimal product there. Oh, I don't know, still learning this game, this camera angle, social media game, which clearly and evidently I'm quite poor at, at the moment, but it's all good. Dab, dab, dab. Very lightly dab. I don't want to take the product off. I simply just want to 
cover the bags, cover the lines. And to do that, you've got to do this. It's a good concealer, so you can put it anywhere on your face, really. But I tend to go a little bit lower and dab because what you don't want is like a white patch right there and then everything else is just super brown. So go down a little bit um, and blend that all in because you want it to look kind of, you know, natural. Powder that while it's nice and wet. Um, I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I don't know, that's the lid. <laughs> and I, what I usually do, which I don't have on me at the moment, is spray the beauty blender, make it a bit more damp and then use the powder, but I don't have that, so it's fine. Uh, tap that in like that, give it a little blue, and tap that into your eyes. I'll go a bit lower as well, but tap that in. I just want to set the concealer It's the Bobbi Brown, oh, it's actually an eye blender brush, but I just kind of flick off any excess powder very lightly, because you don't want to get rid of any product. Very lightly, just flick off any excess powder, because you don't want those cakey lines. So I'm not doing any major contouring or anything like that. I just want to basically give my um, cheekbones a bit of something, lift. <laughs> so I'm using the MAC powder. It's not a contouring product, it's um, a, a MAC powder and it's just a lot darker than my actual shade. So I'm gonna go in with my Bobbi Brown brush, just put a bit on the edge like that, blow it off, do my fish face. Where your line, your cheekbone, I mean my face is just, but you know. We all know roughly where our cheekbone is, so I'm just gonna I'm not putting much more product on it, now I'm just blending. I'm gonna go in a bit, a bit more and just lightly cover my face a bit. Okay, that's it. I'm using the NYX uh, micro brow pencil. So it's got the comb and the pencil. Start at the bottom because it will just make it a bit more subtle. If you start from the top, you start going a bit heavier for some reason. Not making it too much longer, just a little bit. This front part here, don't focus too much there. You don't want too much product there because then it just looks really fake. You want your eyebrows to look like your eyebrows. Very lightly, just touch the front. There you go, bit of a difference. I just made them a little bit thicker. Under eyes is next, um, and I literally bought this uh, a few days ago on um, Black Friday sale. It's a Revolution Pro in the color Prefigure. Oh, is that the color? Anyway, it's brown. So I'm going to put this on my under eyes. Very lightly, not too much. I really like this eyeliner because it's kind of a little bit smudgy as well. If I was doing a smoky glam look, I'd go in and rub that in a little bit. Smudge it, sorry, to make it look a bit more smoky. But that's not the look I'm going for. I do like that kind of sharpness about it because that's look that I'm going for. Give that another little comb. I'm going to use the NARS, um, oh, orgasm, <laughs> orgasm pink. It's the tiniest bit because it's so strong, <sighs> like literally dabbing it on. The, like you can't even barely see the product on there. <sighs> Rimmel bronzer. knew something was missing just around the temples don't like my forehead looking like white you've got bronzer bronzer blush white it's not nice a bit on the jawline maybe you know 
I'm losing my jawline with age. I'm gonna go over my um, eyelashes again because I like to make them look like fans. So I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Telescopic, the one I mentioned before. that way you can see how nice and long they are with the two mascaras merged merged So my eye bags are looking much better, um, but my secret weapon to completely covering the lines and the bags and the darkness is the MAC concealer pot thing. But this pot is like magic for my eyes. Magic. So good, it's so good. So I just grab it a bit with my finger like that. Make the face. under my eyes because I feel like the makeup under the eyes by the time I've done my face has been set and then anything that stands out stands out right at the end so I go in and do this life life oh life oh life oh life okay the benefit pink lipstick okay I'll find out the name guys thanks for watching um i hope you got a few tips from that it's not a very i mean it's quite basic what i've done today it might seem like a lot of products and a lot on my face close up i'm not really that not really that caked up um so anyway i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time